It's difficult to move through a long document in Word, which is why we're going to go ahead and add a cross-reference to make it easier for people to get to particular points in our document. I want you to think of a cross-reference like a hyperlink on a web page. If you click on it, it will take you somewhere else. And we're going to reference other things that are already in the document. Now, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, and you'll see right here, I have already staked out where I want that cross-reference. See page, and what I want is for people to go to page 7. Now, I could simply type in the number 7, and then they would have to scroll down there and find it on their own. But by putting in a cross-reference, they'll be able to click on it, and it'll take them right there. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go up here to my References tab. Hey, go figure. And you'll see right here I have cross-reference. Let me click on that. And from here, this little drop-down, you'll see the different types of things I can cross-reference. Headings, bookmarks, footnotes, endnotes, figures, tables. We're going to go ahead and we are going to reference a bookmark. And down here is a list of all the bookmarks in this document. And if you want to know more about bookmarks, we have a video about that, so check it out. Up here, it says insert reference to bookmark text. What that means is, if I say choose this first bookmark, accounting, when I go ahead and insert that cross-reference, it will say see page accounting, because that's the bookmark text. I don't want that. I'm going to select this drop-down, and I want to have it the page number. So it'll take me right to that page number. And if I print this out, they'll know that what they're looking for is on page 7. Now, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit because performance, this is the bookmark I'm looking for. This is at the top of page 7. So I'm going to select that and choose Insert. Let me close that. And you'll see right there my cross-reference, see page 7. Now, if I hover my mouse over it, look at that. I get that little tool tip, and it says Performance, which is the name of the bookmark, and my instructions, Control plus click to follow link. Well, I'm going to hold down my control key, and you'll notice my mouse pointer turns into the little hand symbol for a link, and I am going to click on my left mouse button, and it takes me here to page 7 to this bookmark at Financial Performance. Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, we're going to add another cross-reference, and I happen to have a place here all staked out for it. In this one, I'm going to ask them to take a look at figure four, which is just a, a little diagram, uh, a chart of our data here. And I am going to go instead of here to add my cross reference, I'm going to take us up here to the insert tab. Look at that right here in the middle, insert cross reference. And when I do that, the same window opens up and everything's exactly the same. Only this time, instead of referencing a bookmark, we're going to do a figure. And when I select figure, it shows me all of the figures. And the figures are just pictures, or in this case, a chart. And we want number four, which is our three-year chart of profitability. Now, much like we saw before, if I insert reference to the entire caption, it would say, see figure four, three-year chart of profitability, which I could do. Or if I can also choose by going down here, label and number, only the text, page number, or above and below. Well, I'm going to choose, tell you what, let's do the entire caption on this one. And select insert, close that. And now, again, if I hover my mouse over it, I get my instructions, control, and click, and it takes me there to that chart. And that's how easy it is to add cross-references in a document. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.